Hey guys, I'm Mona. Some of you also know me on Instagram on Wonder Dreads. Welcome back to my channel. I'm also welcoming myself back on this channel because I haven't posted anything in six months. And this is because I was traveling Southeast Asia for the past six months. Anyways, now I'm back in my home country. I'm back in Germany with my family due to this whole corona situation. So I am self -quar quarantining myself. I'm self. I am quarantining myself right now. <laughs> so I guess I got kind of bored and I'm looking for things to do. And I want to do a little bit of change to my dreadlocks, to my hair. So I'm getting rid of my dreadlocks for now. I want to get my dreadlocks back because I love my dreads. But I think my hair deserves a little bit of rest and also in the beginning of my dread journey I definitely overdid crochet hooking so when I look at my dreadlocks I can see that like I think this part is all dead hair. So I will bring you along the journey and let's see how it goes. I'm, I'm nervous but I'm excited to see my own hair again and actually brush through my own hair because I haven't brushed my hair in two years. <laughs> Hi guys, now dad is cutting off the dreads. So first thing we did was cutting out all my extensions to make it easier to brush out the dreadlocks. And as you can see, my dad was super happy to cut them. Well. Done! My head instantly felt so much lighter but also it was a really weird feeling getting rid of my long extensions because I got used to them over the past two years. And then I simply just started brushing up my dreadlocks. I just really took my time to make sure not to break and rip out all of my hair. But after brushing out the first two dreadlocks I realized that this is not good for my hair. I could hear my hair breaking so I decided to use a lot of conditioner to make it easier to brush out my dreadlocks. In total I used around 3 bottles of conditioner and this really made the process of brushing it out a lot easier. I did lose a lot of hair while brushing up my dreadlocks but I wasn't too worried about it because I remember that you lose around 50 to 100 hair every day and I've had my dreadlocks for two years so there must have been a lot of hair that I've already lost which were still stuck in my dreadlocks. After a while my head, my neck and my hand were really sore. The whole process was kind of painful so it took me around one week in total to brush out all my hair. And finally I was done, washed my hair and used a deep conditioner. And oh my god, that feeling of brushing through my hair for the first time after two years was simply amazing. Okay, so back to the couch where I started brushing out my dreadlocks. So guys, this is all the hair that I have left. I kind of feel naked because my head is so light and I feel like I don't really have a lot of hair left. Um, I wanted to show you how much hair I actually lost in the process of brushing up my dreadlocks. Um, it kind of looks disgusting because it still has a lot of conditioner in there, but this is all the hair that I lost, which is actually my own hair. It kind of looks shocking because it is a lot of hair, but remember, I've had my dreadlocks for two years now, and um, you, you lose like 50 to 100 hair every day. I think I lose a lot more hair. so. Yeah, I think it's it's okay, <laughs> but also, um, yeah, I definitely want my dreadlocks back because I feel like I lost a big part of myself. I know it's just hair, but I don't know, to me it was a lot more. It was like a hobby, it was my babies, it was my personality, my freedom, my way to express my character I guess so yeah I'm definitely getting my dreadlocks back and also one thing I wanted to say and I think it's really important to say because while I was brushing out my hair I realized like that it is a myth that dreadlocks are dirty 
because I brushed up my hair and honestly there was nothing in there it was perfectly clean hair so just wanted to say that <laughs> anyways guys this whole point of the video was me getting rid of my dreadlocks and here I am sitting without my dreadlocks so this is the end of the video I really hope you enjoyed watching me suffering I hope to see you in my next video which will probably not be about dreadlocks since my dreadlocks are gone for the next few months but they will be back <laughs> but I see you next time stay safe and stay happy <laughs>